Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. This episode, we'll be doing a professional Bleasdale farmhouse, uh, receiving information about possible haunting. So let's, uh, excuse me, jump in here and see if we can't quickly locate and identify a ghost. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the late upload. I'm having to record this basically the same day I'm uploading it after I got home from work. Um, things got a little hectic this past weekend, and I didn't get around to recording any Phasmophobia. Tomorrow's should be on time, uh, barring um, any upload difficulties. I did have a video I was trying to upload this morning that seemed to take all day. Actually started it last night, and it was only 70% done when I got up in the morning. And it wasn't that long of a video, I don't think. It's uh, Subnautica from earlier today. Alrighty. Alright, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need them. Got the intel. Looks like this is going to be a tough one. We've had reports of violence. And it looks like they left in a hurry. Alright, uh, ghost more likely to do events, more active, uh, and is a stalker. Alright, EMF reader, ghost event, not worried about the crucifix. Lisa Miller, breaker is right in the front door. That's convenient. Um, so it was EMF reader and ghost event. Well, we got a more active ghost, let's start with the photo camera. <clears throat> see if we can't figure out where this ghosty is. Keeping the breakers on is going to be fairly easy unless the ghost is pretty far in. Can you give us a sign? Is that a bone right there? Let's go upstairs and get that back door key first so we can leave out that way. I don't think you're downstairs anyway. I just heard something. You might be in the attic. Give us a sign. Can you give us a sign? My microphone's not muted. Maybe you are downstairs. I just heard a light switch click. Can you give us a sign? Uh, <gasps> oh, you prick. Did I just have freezing breath? Yes, I did. That event was a four. Okay, I'll leave this here. And I'm going to set up this stairwell with some candles uh, and set the lighters up. <coughs> it 
so I'll leave the photo camera here for now. Start with the bottom to, or the mid, uh, middle landing in the bottom one, and then drop the lighter, and then we can bring our flashlight in the next time. I'm not worried about a hunt at this point. Um, and leave the lighter here so that I can relight the candles when they go out, and then I'll bring in the last candle or another candle and uh, the uh, other lighter and put it upstairs. Then we can start bringing in some evidence gathering. Uh, we have freezing temperatures. Let's check for ghost orbs and bring in the book. video camera <coughs> and the book. Um, we've already witnessed a ghost event and gotten our EMF reading, so the only thing left is crucifix, which I'm not worried about. We're in the 70s. all the way up to that back room. Thought I saw something sticking out of the wall. absolutely no reason to sweep the rest of the house. I mean, I could find, uh, see if I could find a uh, <clears throat> Ouija board to take a photo of, but not really worth it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's check for fingerprints. Or actually... Yeah, let's check for fingerprints and grab our photo camera and then come back in for the spirit box last time. Well, let me go ahead and look for ghost orbs. Ghost orbs would rule out fingerprints, I believe. I'm not seeing one. I can move the camera when I go back up there. But I actually think we have a fingerprint ghost this time. Oh, I'm in the 60s. There we go. Alright, it's on. Alright, so we'll grab our photo camera uh, and um, go sweep for fingerprints. All the candles are still lit. Call it right now, there's one on the door. Haha. -ha. Where's the phone? The phone was behind me, wasn't it? Where is the phone? Okay. We got fingerprints on the door. 
Probably got fingerprints on the light switch. Do we have any on the windows? Both windows. I've got two fingerprint photos. That should be sufficient. You just killed the light again. Oh, we've got all our evidence. There was no need to move the camera because fingerprints and freezing temperatures rules out ghost orbs. That's not a possibility. Did I drop my flashlight? I did. I thought I dropped the UV light, but I dropped my flash. I dropped them both. Huh. But we've identified this ghost. It is freezing temperatures, EMF 5, and fingerprints. We have a banshee. Which is actually uh, more affected by the crucifix. But we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. So hopefully I won't be too late getting it uploaded. It's a fairly quick one, I know. Yep, 190. Almost maxed out photos. I don't think another fingerprint would have counted for anything. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.